right, so good news. You've got a talking whiz kid. You're very excited. You got, you know, it's got that sweet little handle so you can carry it around with you easily. And you have popped uh, six C batteries in the compartment. You have released it and lifted it up. And man, are you excited. But now, the moment of truth. Will it work when you press the on button? Good news, it does work. Insert card. Uh-oh, bad news is telling you to insert a card. So that is a problem because you don't have the cards. If you're like me, I bought this at a thrift store for about six and a half dollars. Um, it didn't come with any cards. I even asked, I said, do you have any cards? Or better yet, would you have a cartridge that goes in the side? And they said no. This thing came with 50 cards with different si sorts of kind of educational activities and games, how the cards work and how you, again, you put them in that slot on the side. You can see in the back that they have almost like a UPC symbol, different little black and white stripes that you put in. And obviously the machine then reads those. And I'm actually curious how it reads it. And I'll probably open this thing up and try to take a look. The question is, how do I make it work? The cards do not actually have anything, any information on them. There's no chip or any other data stored in the card themselves. All they do is trigger the machine to, to read the card and say, oh, this is card number three. That's a math question. So things are stored in here. And that's the good news because the manual tells you that there's a way to kind of uh, get around the lack of a card because they kind of assumed you might lose one. And if you did, what they told you was there's a way to still play the games without the cards. So to do that, you turn it on, you'll get that error message, you know, insert card, you'll get this flashing on the screen. So what you do is you press code. It's gonna give you a little beep and you're gonna put in a number between one and 50. And I will show you in a bit what those numbers correspond to. So I'm gonna do seven. seven. It says seven and it shows up. And that's a math one, so I'm gonna now press enter. Seven. What is 48 divided by three equal to? Oh my God, 19, I hope. One, nine, 19. Oh jeez. No, try again. So you see, I got that wrong. I'm gonna pretend I got that wrong on purpose. It's actually 16. One, six, 16. Right. What happens is you go through 10, 10 questions and you get a score. So that's basically what you do. You, you can enter the code and there are 14 different types of math games. Those are really all playable. Games 15 through 24 are more what is it games. And so there's spelling. So let me show you at least one of those. You haven't found a way to kind of clear it. So you actually got to press it off. Turn it off, I should say. Turn it back on. Insert card. So again, I'm gonna press code. I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna just put in 20. Two, zero. I know that's one of the what is, what is it games. 20, what is A? So, so these are really not playable. On the card, you'd be able to see something and A would be, I don't know, a dog or a cat or whatever it might be. I'm gonna press answer. A is play. Okay, so it'd be a play and I'd have to figure out how to spell it. But because I don't have the cards, those games really are not realistically what playable. Is B? So games 25 through 35 are matching games. And again, these are really not playable. So I'm going to try matching game 25. 25. Please choose the correct answer for A. And again, you need the card for this. So again, unfortunately, this is another one that's not really playable. So you might be being depressed. There's a whole bunch of games you haven't been able to play. But now we're going to go to the spelling game. Because you can play at least some of these spelling games. 36. How do you spell a loon? What? So I'm pressing repeat because I don't know what it's saying. How do you spell a loon? A loon? A-L-O-N-E. Oh boy, sad bear. No, try again. The correct answer is B. Oh, a balloon. L. L. Damn it. O. O. N. Balloon. Defeated by the talking whiz kid. How do you spell satchel? Satchel? How do you spell satchel? You know, I know when I was 10, I was constantly talking about satchels. So I'm assuming. S A. And I knew how to spell satchel too. T C H E L. 
Hopefully there's only one L in satchel. Oh, good. <laughs> 41 through 43 are versions of hangman. Yes, the word. Oh, boy, three letters. A. Oh, boy. The correct answer S is E. A. R. Ear. Dang it. I really stink. Okay, okay. Yes, the word. Ah, boy. The correct oh, answer me. is F O X Fox. God, zero for two. Playing a game intended for two year olds and being destroyed. A E. Okay, so what? R, hopefully? R. Okay, so what? Pear? P. Fear? F. Deer? D. Near? N. Oh my god. Gear? G. Here. H. Lear? No, that's not even how you spell it. Did I do pear? Tear? T. Oh my god. Year. Y. The correct answer is B. E. Bear. A. R. Bear. So embarrassing. Yeah, you might not want to buy this. It'll make you feel stupid. A. Come on, radio. R. Oh my god. Thank god. I am going to edit out all those failures and make it believe I got them all right. Enter your word. So there's uh, also a version of Hangman where you can play against somebody. So I could enter the word. Press enter. Yes, the word. And then hand it over to a friend and they have to H. obviously guess. So this seems like it would be a good opportunity to put some inappropriate words in there. I mean, if you were a kid in 1980. So 42 is a scramble. 42. Okay. Yes, the, the word, word scramble. And gosh, I might even get this get this one right. So fifteen. Okay. There's versions of this where you can enter a word again and have your friend guess it again. An excellent opportunity to put it in inappropriate words. What's funny about this thing is it's smart, but it's that smart. I'm playing the word scramble. This is what they show me. Yes, the word. So if this word is not sixty, I am in. So clearly it scrambles them at random, but there's no kind of checker to make sure that they don't give you the actual spelling. So that's kind of funny. Games 45 through 50 are music games, and you, you these are playable. So I'm doing 45 right now. So this is going to let me put in up to 32 notes. I'm going to do, um, I guess, Mary a Little Am. There's a pause. Okay. So let's enter. That's kind of cool. Games 46 through 49 play you back a pre-recorded tune. 50, follow me. So game 50 is impossible for somebody like me. So it's going to play a note, and you got to figure out what it is. If you get it, then it's going to build and do two notes and three notes. So what you do is you it plays that note like you saw, and you have to guess it. No, try again. So that played it. I don't know if that was higher. No, try again. Follow me. Okay. So, I think this was this and higher, probably so. Follow me. Oh, boy. So, if you had perfect pitch. No, try again. You'd probably be good at this. I obviously am not. I should probably do this to keep away, like, Alzheimer's and dementia. Follow me. That's an interesting little game, at least. So again, what you're hopefully seeing is that you can play, I, I haven't counted it up, probably at least half, maybe two thirds of the games. You might be able to play some of the matching games if you got some of the pictures of the cards, but at least you can play it. Hopefully I won't regret this, but I am curious to see what's going on in here where it can read that barcode. So I'm going to try to unscrew it and see if I can look inside. I don't think I've broken it yet, so. This cover is off. So this is where the card goes in. This is doing something, but I'm gonna take that off to see if I can see better how it's reading it. Aha, so I figured it out. There's a sensor there. Please don't ask me what kind of sensor. I'm surprised there's only one. I guess as you slide the card in, possibly it reads it. Because when you look at those pictures of those cards I had, it's more than in just one spot. So I'm gonna turn it on and see if maybe the thing starts shooting out laser beams. Insert card. Hmm. 
No laser beams. Again, I almost think it's some kind of like light sensor. That would make the most sense. Any of those numbers to the top right is one, two, three, four. And it's, it's positioned like this. So if this works, I'll be a monkey's uncle. You know, I just did this fake card and I'm gonna put it into the card slot. Hopefully see when I put it in, it'll be red. So I'm just curious, even if I like give me a card error, at least it gives me some information. Try again. Insert card. Try again. Insert card. It might seem like it's working, but actually if I put it in the other end with nothing. Try again. Insert card. So it's just like almost any physical object is setting it off. So I removed the screws on this thing. But there's really nothing there. The card would be here and it would be shown through the window. I don't see anything else in there that would set anything off. So the mystery remains uh, exactly what kind of sensor that is. Though it's gotta be some kind of light sensor. This is where the cartridge would go. I don't even know if there's any cartridges made for this. If somebody knows, please put a, co a comment. Um, I saw cartridges for the um, Talking Whiz Kid Advance, but I have not even seen one for this one. So I don't know if they never came out for this one. So I did end up taking it apart. Uh, curious to see it, but there's also something rattling around inside and I actually figured out what was going on. This broke off of um, here. What's supposed to happen is when you open this thing, you're supposed to be able to lock it, the screen in the upright position, and you gotta press a release. Somebody obviously didn't do that at some point and busted off the locking mechanisms. So the screen's supposed to lock in place and you're supposed to have to shift this over to release it. But with this one, it doesn't lock in place. It's, it's not an issue whatsoever, quite frankly, but that was what that broken piece was. So here's the keyboard, one of those membrane keyboards where you kind of push things together. You get an idea that those two sides will touch together and then that will, you know, let the computer, the circuit, know that a certain key has been pressed. All right, so I've got it reassembled. So now to make sure I did not break it. Insert card 41. Yes, the word. Oh, God. Oh. So I finished on an up note. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the uh, comments below. Especially if you've used this, especially if you've had a cartridge or have other information about this, I would really much appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching the video.